your boy King Brando and um stuff got real and grownish. Uh like for real. It got abundantly real really quick. It, it was an episode about politics and it, I just I I was a little I wouldn't I had to watch it again because I was a little lost because I'm not like I'm 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 only eighteen. Like I don't know everything that when it comes to politics. So I, I, I had to like sit back and watch it again to uh get what the episode was about. But it's episode 11, safe and sound. Let's get into this uh, TV reaction, TV show reaction. And yeah, uh, it was, a, it was, it was, I learned a little bit because, you know, I still, I, like I said, I didn't get the whole thing. But uh, yeah, it was a good, a good episode. And yeah, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel because we finna crack this open as much as I can, as much as I'm gonna put what I thought was happening and what I got from the episode. Uh, and yeah, and man, y'all, y'all messed with me for real with the live tweets. Like we be going, we be going up and up and up and up on the live tweets every week. I love it. Live tweet with me when the show happening. Eastern, like like it's the Eastern Central time. I do that when you know eight seven. Uh, so make sure y'all live tweet with me, cause it be lit. Like y'all, she really messed with my tweets, cause she like retweeted like a couple of them today, and I'm like, dang man, like that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's get into this uh, review. Let's crack this thing open. I'm gonna give my input on what I thought it was about and you know stuff like that Let's go yeah. Take me to the truth. So the episode began with them talking about Hawkins and about like protest and stuff like actually no That's not how the episode began the episode began with the uh monologue like every episode of blackish and grownish they talk about how you know we're advanced we're more diverse we have all these different groups and stuff and we support each other as much as we can and like we, we're getting to that point where you know as the generations progress we are getting more diverse we're learning to trust and accept each other for who we are and all that stuff that's how it started off and then we get into the uh the uh dorms and stuff so they're creating, like, they're prepping for this protest that's going to happen because people keep complaining about Hawkins. If y'all don't know what Hawkins is, don't know where you've been the whole TV show, but it's their dorm. Uh, people been pro uh, people been calling in about Hawkins, so they think about closing it. So they protesting it uh, just to, like, you know, let them know, like, this is their safe space. So they had everybody on their own section. Know me, for real. Know me. Are you serious? Rose Parks. Really? Tequila Mockingbird? You're a legend. Like, for real, you're a legend for that. How do you, like, Al, really? The Al Sharpton drink? Really? You're amazing. Uh, but yeah, uh, everybody was doing their own thing, prepping for the stuff. And then, you know, Aaron, I really don't think that's the slogan that you was going for. The, the BDSM or, or, yeah, like, black dorms should matter. That's not, like, when people see that, that's not what they gonna think of. Like, black dorms and stuff, they gonna think of the other stuff. Okay, uh, but yeah, that was hilarious. It was a lot of comedic relief in this uh, episode just to like, because it was some serious hard-hitting topics in here. So I figured they had to have stuff to really break the ice and break the tension because it was a serious episode. Uh, I feel like it was an episode that a lot of people needed. It was an episode that I needed because I didn't get it. So it, I had to watch it over to understand it, to learn some stuff that I didn't know. And uh, I feel like a lot of people my age who don't know because... I'm I'm only 18, so I'm not gonna know all the stuff that uh, they talking about, like, cause you know they adults who write it and they trying to convey messages like this to teach the youth, cause their audience is youth. Um, and yeah, so I, I learned a lot from the episode, like in that type of aspect. But let's get into the nitty gritty. So uh, Anna's like, you know. Uh, yeah, we need a safe space and all that stuff. And Aaron's like, yeah, you know, I, I support my Latina sisters and all that. And she's like, oh, no, no, not them. Her women on the right. And he's like, women on the right, you're right, am I right? That was funny. Uh, and she was like, then Zoe was like, you know, she's talking about on a political scale. And this one stuff got real and it got crazy. Because Anna was like, my conservative. Once she said the C conservative, I'm like, oh, oh my God. And you got... And you got Black Panther Senior right there? It, really? That's not an argument that you want to have. Uh, and it really wasn't because, ooh, he got her. Like, oh my God. Like, by the end of the episode, you understand that, like, she, she's not really a bad conservative. If you want to say that, 
but she is still, she didn't change her like perspective. She's still conservative, still a Republican, all that stuff. But he's telling her like, how are you a conservative and you like, what I thought it was, how are you a conservative and you Mexican? Like, uh, and, and you're a woman too. Cause like, like how are you a Republican and you're a woman too? Cause they don't, they, they don't normally coincide with each other. At least from my point of view, I don't see a lot of women, uh, Republicans and all that stuff. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, again, I told y'all don't really focus on politics like that. I should to just try to get to know the world that I'm living in, but I don't right now because I'm still young. I'm trying to pass high school uh, before I can, you know, get into the world and do all this other stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, and she's like, you know, it's it's if you would listen to me and what I'm trying to say instead of jumping down my throat, you will understand what I'm talking about. And he wasn't hearing it at all. He was just going in and in and in and in and in, and she wasn't really able to get a word in. And then you like, you know, y'all bring tiki torches. To rallies and protests and stuff. And I'm like, ooh, dang, man, you coming with the hard hitting facts. But again, she's not doing that. That's them. She's not every conservative is not the same person. I feel like that's what she was trying to really, she's gonna explain to him if he would let her talk and let her, if he would have listened, just like how she listens to him when he does stuff. All of them listen to him when he says his stuff. Like she kind of wanted that same respect from him. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you should have listened, but. I mean, I get where he coming from too, cause you know, like y'all, y'all are not really for us. You're not for us at all, like period. Um, and then like with you saying that, that's like it, it was defense mechanism, defense mechanism right there. It was just like I, I get where he was coming from too, and where she was coming from. Like you know, all conservatives are not the same. Everybody don't do that, you know, and uh, yeah, that's how that uh, part ended. That was the first part of the episode. Then the next part of the episode, uh, oh yeah, I got to put this part. Uh, Zoe was very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. She was the woman in the middle um, in between all of this because she's friends with both of them. And she didn't want them to argue, but it was no stopping that. Couldn't, like, once she said conservative, you have a Black Panther with a Republican. Like, really? Like, really? Like, that, 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 that. You know, like Uzi say, boy, you know, light and dark don't mix. Like, that, that's that's that type of stuff. Uh, I mean, not saying, like, you know, that, I'm just saying, like, black and white, not the actual skin color black and white, just, like, you know, two different elements and stuff. Uh, and, yeah, next part of the episode with the best lines ever, like, of this, like, comedic-wise, like, Zoe is asking, well, in a way, she's asking Luca for advice on how he... Is able to remain calm and remain, you know, like, um, remain different. And he says, and uncomfortable. He says that it's his, it's, it's not everybody's duty to, like, I mean, how do, how do I want to phrase this? It's okay to be uncomfortable. He likes to push the envelope and be uncomfortable to set a new standard that we should be comfortable with the uncomfortable. That's what I got from that. Be comfortable with the uncomfortable. Uh, because, you know, we need to be comfortable talking about uncomfortable topics. That's what I say. Uh, but his way of doing it was just the awkward silence. And I'm like, dude, you are amazing. Your comedy is amazing. And hold on, I gotta pull up this uh, thing. I'm back. Uh, Luca said, your generation is softer than Drake. Because I uh, tweeted it out. Just like, dude, you have the best comedic relief this show has. Like, period. It's really you and the twins. Uh, but this episode, it was you. Other than when the twins was like, you know, I want to see a good fight with Aaron and um, and Anna. Uh, like, they want to see them argue again. But this is what Luca said. Luca and Zoe put their conversation. Luca was like, your generation is softer than Drake. And then Zoe's like, aren't we the same age? And he's like, physically. I'm like, oh my God, mind blown. Mind blown. He's like Jaden Smith on, like, on steroids, for real. Like, the, the, the philosophy, the just the everything. It's just like, dude, dude, you just, you, you, you. you you, you're on a different wavelength than us. And you know what? Keep being that. Because when we need you, you come in, you give us that uh, comedic relief. You come in and you bring everybody back down to earth. You let everybody know that different ways to do everything, different ways to approach stuff. But back again, uh, we get to see Zoe and uh, Anna talking about... Um, like her... Like basically, Zoe's listening to what Anna had to say. Because 
and they got Hawkins shut down. She got every safe space shut down, for real. Uh, once they, once her and Aaron start arguing, oh dang, I missed a lot of crucial points. They had they actually had the protest, and then Anna had her conservative people, and then um, uh, Aaron had his you know people fighting for the dorms and all that. They clashed, they got in trouble, they got all of the safe spaces thrown out. Which I'm like, dang, G, like, why, why you had to do it like that? And then she was like, that's not what she wanted to happen, stuff like that. It's always like, you know, you don't really know what be going on. And then she's like, you know, free speech is everything. And then it's always like, you know, but, um, you know, you, you don't have, you can ch pick and choose when you want to do that. And then she was like, you know, free speech is everything. We, oh dang, oh god, I'm, 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 I'm mixing up my parts of the episode, but basically, moral of the story is, Anna, uh, Anna's family member, I forget uh, if it was a uh, grandpa, uncle, whatever, Anna's family member was in jail for five years just because they used free speech, well it, wasn't, it ain't free speech if you got locked up for it, but because they were speaking out against stuff, and then she's like, you know, I need my. I need to be able to have my voice. I need to be able to say what I have to say because not everybody gets the opportunity to say it. So if I'm in a position, I gotta do it because I gotta do what I gotta do. My people, you know, he in jail for this. So if he in jail for doing this, I really gotta be able to speak up and and just follow my heart, follow everything. And then Zoe like, dang, tell me more about your views. She did. And now we're on to the part that I was talking about with the twins, talking about I want to see a good fight. So they all went to the um, to the bar that they always go in. Why is it a bar on campus? Like, is it a bar on every campus? You know, I've never been to a college campus. I might sound stupid, but uh, they went to the bar. Uh, everybody was sitting together except for uh, Aaron and uh, Anna. Aaron was throwing darts, and then he was like, uh, he said something, I forgot what it was, but it was it was a little funny. And then Zoe was like, you know, both of you need to come here, you need to settle this right now. She was like, Aaron, you a bad person for, like, jumping down her throat, and then Anna, you a bad person for getting, uh, Hawkins thrown out and every other safe space thrown out. And he was like, okay, they kind of made up a little bit, uh, and they realized that, you know, they not, that you can disagree with somebody. But it doesn't always have to come into a, like a screaming match or anything like that. You can disagree and still be cool. You can have different viewpoints and still be cool. Stuff like that. That's what I got from the episode. Let me know what y'all got from the episode. Uh, but yeah, that was what happened. And then the last part of the episode was when Zoe went to talk to Dean Parker to get um, Hawkins and all of the safe spaces like back to where they was and then she ended up convincing them with all of them standing together with all the different causes and stuff and he was like yeah you know what i get it you can hide your space safe spaces back but hawkins on probation you can't do nothing bad don't do nothing bad screw it up i'm giving you this chance and yeah that's how it ended everybody got back cool in a sense uh and yeah man this is a i, I learned I learned it in this episode, and I was also confused a little bit in the episode. Like, I did Because, like, I don't really get into politics like that. So, if you... Could you tell me in the comment section what you thought of the episode? And, like, uh... Yeah. Whew. This has been a long video, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's Bean Boy King Brando. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe. If, I mean, I, dang. I'm sorry. I can never do outros right. Like, never. I don't think I've ever gotten an outro right. But... Like this video, comment the stuff, you know, comment what you thought of the episode, comment other TV shows you want me to do, other things you want me to do, anything like that. Uh, yeah, and if you're new to the channel, gotta get up close and personal with you, you gotta do this thing called the three clicks, easiest thing, you're already on the page, you're already on the channel. Just like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the post notifications, that's the three clicks, easiest thing you ever gonna do in your life, like, period, just do it, it's Big Boy King Brando. Sorry, but to end it off, we're not going to end off with a piece like we normally do. We're going to end it off with a quote from what Zoe said this episode. She said, unless everyone has a voice, no one has a voice. That was powerful. I, I tweeted out, I'm like, that's some powerful, that's some powerful ish. Like, really powerful. I want y'all to just think about that. Yeah.